Hi, my name is Alexi Valencia, and today I'll be using the recent SolarWinds Compromise, or Sunburst Incident, to show how you can make threat hunting routine, effective, and scalable with ThreatConnect. There aren't a lot of things scarier for CISOs, threat analysts, or the poor sock guys on the midnight shift than the thought of malware making its way into supposedly trusted channels, gaining a foothold in your company's sensitive networks, and providing backdoor access to the bad guys. But that's exactly what occurred when malicious actors were able to compromise SolarWinds infrastructure, as brought to light by the recently disclosed Sunburst campaign. To get a sense of just how big of a problem Sunburst is, consider this. SolarWinds is a leading provider of software for managing IT infrastructure and has around 300,000 customers, including almost all of the Fortune 500 and many federal agencies. If you're wondering how Sunburst worked, here's a quick overview. Attackers were able to access SolarWinds infrastructure and modify legitimate, digitally signed DLL files in SolarWinds Orion update packages to implant backdoors in customer networks. Here's how ThreatConnect fits into the equation. Using a combination of focused dashboards, automated threat hunting, and workflow within ThreatConnect, threat intelligence analysts and incident responders can streamline response processes when sunburst or other incidents like it occur, taking any available intelligence reports, deriving associated tactical intelligence, querying your detective controls for any correlated data, and conditionally responding with measures to isolate, remediate, and report on affected systems. Regardless of the actions taken, a documented, repeatable process is followed, and you can rest easier knowing the threats are being run to ground properly, each and every time. Let's take a look at a helpful dashboard which tracks Sunburst-specific intelligence across all available intel sources and provides updated counts of pertinent intelligence items, such as incidents, signatures, adversaries, and threats. As new relevant intel becomes available, analysts can track things like new incidents and reports specific to Sunburst-related tags, as well as any reported indicators of compromise. Associated IOCs can then be analyzed and incorporated into threat hunting actions, which disseminate intel to defensive products, create cases, and facilitate custom analytical flows. As you can see in the sample incident report, we can query detective controls for associated tactical intelligence directly from an ingested piece of intel, in this case, an incident report. With a simple click of a button, an automated threat hunt runs, checking our defensive tools for matches with all associated indicator data. In the event of a match, users are notified and a case is created. Additional context can be returned as a custom attribute, in this case, sim events, containing details about historical events matching our threat hunt. When a threat hunt returns a positive detection for any indicators tied to an incident report, a case is created for tracking all artifacts associated with this threat hunt and for providing relevant scoring and context on a single screen. Cases can utilize custom tasks or templated workflows to aid in analysis and remediation, such as automatically querying virus total or IP void for enrichment data and returning the results as case notes. As you can see here, a threat assess score is also presented for this IP address artifact. A threat assess score is a proprietary metric which combines various dimensions of IOC data into a single actionable score, in this case, 578. Threat assess can quickly help analysts decide whether an indicator is an obvious false positive or whether additional analysis or action, such as blocking or whitelisting, might be warranted. In the case of Sunburst, we can take specific guidance, such as these remediation tasks provided by DHS to federal agencies affected by Sunburst, and directly translate recommended technical actions, such as blocking IOCs or resetting user credentials, into automated workflow tasks, which can be repeated automatically at regular intervals or as additional tactical intelligence becomes available. If this has been interesting and you'd like to learn more, please reach out to sales at threatconnect.com to continue the discussion. Thanks for your time.